Yeah. And I just want to say that I don't appreciate you guys harassing me. Yeah. Secondly, no trespassing. There's no trespassing on this property. I don't want you on my property. What's up, folks? Today's video comes to you by way of Wild Man Audits. When you do everything right, but the government still finds a way to take from you, it really can make you angry. Angry enough to start a channel and begin uploading government accountability videos. This man gets some fines in the mail, and he feels he's being harassed. So this time, when they show up to his property, he trespasses them, and he absolutely lets them have it. He lets them know the law, and he lets them know who has the power and control of the property. Let's check out this video. We'll pause for some comments, and I'll give you my expertise and wise opinions at the end. Let's get right to it. So here we have a zoning violation that was received in the mail 10 days after the charges resulting from the unlawful search and seizure regarding the CBD, which you can find my video on, 10 days after those charges were dismissed. I received this zoning violation claiming that there's sewage being dumped on the property from a camper. Let's see how it goes. Hey, can I help you? Yes, sir. Hey, and that's yeah. fine. You, you turn on. You got it? Yeah, of course. Hey. Cody, my name's Robert. I'm one of the newer officers at the uh, police department over here. Cool. I'm just here with the health department to let her describe a few things. We can hopefully help you get them fixed. Yeah. No issues at the moment. I just am yeah. here with her. So. Well, I saw the notice you guys left on my door right that after was... my case got dismissed, first and foremost. Yeah. And I just want to say that I don't appreciate you guys harassing me. Yeah. Secondly, no trespassing. There's no trespassing on this property. I don't want you on my property. Totally forgot to mention earlier that I'll be dropping this man's original channel link in the description and in the pinned comment or you can easily type it into your YouTube search bar. It's always been important for me to help out the other YouTubers and activists. All right, folks, back to the video. Yeah. And I just want to say that I don't appreciate you guys harassing me. Yeah. Secondly, no trespassing. There's no trespassing on this property. I don't want you on my property. Okay, well, let us step Third, record. Let us step over here, okay? Yeah, I would have appreciated that from the get-go. No, no, I, I, you know, I said, I said, unless they're not going to yell from the and, and I received your notices, and for one... You haven't received anything from me yeah, yet. No, 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 I'm talking about for you. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I signed yeah. it. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah. So I received your notices about dumping septic on my land. I've never dumped septic on my land. Uh, there's a bathroom in the house. And that has septic to the city septic. Okay. Okay, okay which yep. is all within the health department. <clears throat> and that's where my shit goes. And that's where my piss goes. And it always has. And it has from day one and it always has. So your claims are frivolous and they're not true. Okay. And I don't... The frivolous, can we say what I originally signed it for? It was for these and the, the, the property and generally couldn't even cleaned up. Well, I did motion to you and send on the paper. You're correct. No, it, said, it, says, se it says septic. The, but that, that there's no septic being here. Yes, so that yes, was a frivolous sir. claim. Secondly... Um, the, the chemical containers are not a violation and those are food grade water containers for water storage and water rain collection is not illegal in the state of Ohio. That's correct. So there's nothing wrong with those containers. Those are food grade. <coughs> those are not chemical containers as you depicted. So that's frivolous as well. Um, also you got my address wrong. Wait a minute. Did we hear that correctly? They got the most important part of this interaction wrong. Who the hell gets the address wrong? What kind of incompetence is this? Doesn't this make everything null and void? Go back to the starting line? Also, you got my address wrong, amongst other things. So once again, I just want this to be the last time that I have to say this. I'm tired of being harassed by you guys. Mm -hmm. This is my property. I pay taxes here. This is my life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. This is my survival. I have the right to plant gardens. I have the right to grow my, my garden as high as I want, in my front yard, in my side yard, wherever I want. I have the right to take a shit in my house whenever I want. I have the right to have a camper in my backyard. Okay, all that is well within my Ohio laws, well within the health code, well within everything. So I'm tired of you guys harassing me, and I'm sorry that you have to be a part of this, because they've been harassing me for months, and he's just doing what the other dipshit in the car is telling him to do. Okay. So that's all this is, so and I'm tired of it, I, and it's done. And Cody, and I've never it's done. You, so, now hold on. Now wait, are I'm, you going to listen to her? No. It's done. Okay. And don't step back on my property. Thank you, Cody. Have a good day, Cody. Have a great day. And ma'am, if you need my number and you need to talk to me directly, I'm help I'm happy to help you with anything. No, yeah, uh, it's just these guys have been harassing me for months. The only reason I'm here was for this thing, so. Literally, they've been harassing me for months. They've been charging me with all kinds of frivolous charges for my window tents, for this and that and the other. They all get dismissed in court. And I'm just sick and tired of it. Yeah, I have nothing to do with any of that. I just got called for the septic thing. And right. so I wasn't sure. I'm happy to I'm happened. I'm happy to show you my working toilet if you'd like to see it. If that helps you, you in any way. No, that would not, help me not at all. Come on. Come on. I'll let him know I'm going with you for a second. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, I, I, I have no qualms with you. You haven't harassed me. You haven't made my yeah, life. Yeah, I was like, please let him know. Like, he hasn't gotten anything from it, me. No, it's not. It, it wasn't. For, it wasn't about you. It's just literally my court cases got dropped, and less than ten days later, I'm served in notice. So obviously they're harassing me. I do me. see that you are collecting your rainwater. So um, do you boil that obviously before you cook with it and stuff. Oh, it's for my garden. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have a couple places in Circle that do that too. So th this place doesn't have floors. So. Okay. Just be careful. There's this, this is a beam right here. Sure. Okay. Yep. It's, it's solid, and this is plywood once you get here. Okay. So this is the original email from the New Holland Police Department to the Pickaway County Health Department. Notice at the bottom in the bold letters it says, "Alert: This subject is a sovereign citizen and can, can become violent." The only reason they say that is because when they pulled me over for the CBD, I knew my rights, and I knew the law, and I told them that they weren't going to illegally search my vehicle, and I resisted their unlawful arrest. So apparently that makes me a violent person. And here is the report um, from Ashley Thacker from the health department, who claims that she was led on the property and there was no violations which clearly indicates that the police department was lying, creating fraudulent claims intentionally to attempt to deprive Mr. Henderson of his rights and to continue to intimidate and harass Mr. Henderson. All right, folks, here are my final thoughts. Whether we're renting or buying, our home is our safe haven. You're allowed to protect your home with everything you got. Absolutely do not let them onto your property without a warrant. They will try to find other reasons to find you. Same reason you don't let CPS into your home. The state isn't your friend and they're not there to help you. This is why it's important for the people to question authority and hold them accountable. We the people have to keep them under the limits to their authority, not above it. Government always tries to overstep your boundaries. They're habitual line steppers. The government's belly is never full. Repeat after me, folks. Get off my property. Come back with the warrant. The Fourth Amendment of the Constitution reminds us that we have rights in our homes. Our natural rights are to be respected and protected at all times. We the people have the duty to protect ourselves, our friends, families, and neighbors. And with that being said, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Original channel link will be provided for you as always. Always record the police, folks, especially if it's on your property. We'll see you on the next video. Peace. Wait, you guys understand what you're asking for? You guys are about to get